Hello, welcome back to Lacrosse Vet Clinic. I'm Echo, I'm one of the certified technicians here at the clinic. This is Rango. Today we are going to show you how to safely remove a bandage. Now Rango just had ACL surgery a couple days ago and his bandage is already slipping down. And this is when we're gonna to wanna to take it off because it's not doing that incision any good. And actually I can show you here so this is his incision right here, and this bandage actually should be way up here, so you can tell it's bunching and it's really just slipping. So we're gonna get this off today. Usually at a vet clinic, we use what's called a bandage scissor. So it's got a nice blunted tip that helps us safely remove the bandage. At home, you more than likely won't have this. What you're gonna have is a regular scissors with a sharp tip here. So we're actually gonna use this scissors today to show you how to do it. You're going to want to lift up on the bandage so it's not on the skin when you cut. Then you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna do nice little cuts down and just keep lifting up on that bandage so you can pull it away a little so you can see what you're doing. Because if you're here and you're really digging in, there's a good chance that this tip is going to hit the skin and cut it. And that's what we don't want. So nice cuts. Pull it out a little. If you need to, if you're having problems with your scissors, go ahead and just slide right under that vet wrap so that you've got more of the cotton here. And you can either pull that cotton, see how it nicely pulls away, or you can cut it with the scissors. So the hawk, this part here, is actually really difficult, especially when it's bunching. So really make sure you take your time and really just get it. See, even us, have we have problems. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's much better, right, Rango? Yeah, and then we'll pull this, so nice gap, and use your fingers to really get that gap. So you can see I've got one against the skin and I've got one here to hold it away so I'm not touching his skin when I cut. There we go. See, again, nice way from the skin. Now you'll notice I've revealed some tape here. So this is just kind of what helps the bandage try and stay up. We will actually peel that off after we get the bandage all the way done. So we're gonna get that. There we go. So now I'm down all the way to the tip. And this is the rest of his bandage here. So we're gonna cut the rest of this cotton off. And you'll see where the tape comes all the way down to the toes. Here we go. See, it's right here. So you're actually gonna take from the top here and you're just gonna peel and go with the hair. If you go against it, you could pull hair and that's painful for the dogs. And then you just pick up, because there's going to be a second piece of tape on that other side. And so you wanna make sure you find that end and you peel that off. There we go, there. Good boy, Rango. Good boy. So that's how you're going to remove a bandage safely. If you at all do not feel comfortable taking that bandage off, that's okay. We are happy to do it here at the clinic. So you need to give us a call. We'll set up a quick little appointment because it doesn't take that long to do, especially when they're good puppies. Yes. So if you have any questions, just give us a call here at the clinic. Thank you very much.